Hey, so I wanted to talk about how to connect CQG to NinjaTrader um, and how to actually use multiple connections with NinjaTrader, which you can do, okay? So you can have multiple data feeds. Uh, one common example is you're trading on interactive brokers, but you wanna use CQG data feed because uh, the CQG data feed is cheaper and also faster for backtesting and a faster uh, API call. So I'm gonna be showing you how to do that. Now, CQG is the most common connection for uh, futures trading all right if you open up a ninja trader brokerage account or other common accounts uh, they generally will set you up with a cqg login and i highly recommend it cqg is usually the most cost effective option and it's very fast when back testing what i mean fast is retrieving the api retrieving the data is very quick all right interactive brokers while it does work and obviously there is benefits with interactive brokers like lower commissions and also a, a trustworthy platform it's just not as fast. It's not not as quick when it comes to uh, retrieving API calls. All right, so to connect to CQG, first of all, you have to get credentials, of course, and this is only done by funding a brokerage account. So if you open up a NinjaTrader account, you need to fund it, all right? And once it's funded, obviously the, the fees for your uh, the, f the fees for paying for that data feed will come out of your brokerage account. All right, so it needs to be funded. And once it's funded, you will get uh, login credentials, uh, usually via email. Um, also with the new NinjaTrader version two, uh, they also can set you up through their web platform as well. Now, if you use another brokerage account uh, like GFF or Advantage Futures, uh, they usually just email you the login. Uh, so your, your username will be like a bunch of numbers and then your password uh, you would set up with them, okay? Once you have those logins, this is how you connect it to NinjaTrader. So if you go to, let me just, sorry guys. So if you go open up NinjaTrader, you go to connections and you click configure. I, I am note that I'm using a little bit older of a version of NinjaTrader, so you, yours might look slightly different. I do apologize. But uh, you go to connections and then you click the continuum. Is it NinjaTrader continuum? Yeah, you click the, if it's through NinjaTrader, you do NinjaTrader continuum. You left click that and hit add. And then you'll have, you'll put in your username and password that you got through the email or for, through the connection. Uh, Connect on startup, you could check too, that will connect it once you open to NinjaTrader um, and make sure you uncheck the demo checkbox as well, okay? Now you see I already have mine here. And that's because I trade through Advantage Features. So I do have a CQG login, but I'm just using the continuum option. There's also a NinjaTrader continuum if you sign up with their brokerage account. Okay. Now, if it doesn't work, if you do NinjaTrader Continuum and the login doesn't work and you're absolutely sure the username and password is correct, then try the Continuum. Um, and then try that as well. Lastly, with the new NinjaTrader version, they have a, they've changed up the, the setup a little bit and you might already have a live connection here, right? So they've actually upgraded their login system to be somewhat uh, current and, uh, if you log in, I think there's a login pop-up, it'll say live here and connected. Uh, but anyways, you hit my continuum, uh, which is my connection, and you'll see at the bottom left, it'll go a yellow circle. I'm sorry, I'm terrible with OBS. It's green now, but it'll be yellow uh, for a period of time, and that'll go green, that means you're connected. And you're officially connected to CQG, to test if you're getting data, just open up a new chart at the top left, hit new chart, type in an instrument uh, like ES, which is the S&P 500 E-mini futures. Double click it, hit okay. And you should see data pop up any second. <clears throat> This is odd. Uh, usually it doesn't take this long. 
Let me switch it to day. Obviously, day is usually faster. Hmm. If you go to your log file, it'll say sometimes. If you're not getting real-time data, connection restored. Okay. That was pulled up, and that's how you know you're getting at least historical data. It's Saturday right now, so the markets are not open. But um, if you wanted to test, you're getting real-time data as well. You should see this price be moving when the market's open as well. So that's a good test. Now, if you wanted to trade on interactive brokers and be connected to CQG, uh, this is how you do it. So um, I'd always connect to CQG first. Anytime you connect to a data feed first, it's going to prioritize that connection. So with my CQG connection connected first, then I would go and configure and add an interactive brokers connection. Once again, you go to the connections menu, configure, go to interactive brokers, hit add, um, connect your settings. If you haven't watched my video on how to connect to interactive brokers, go watch that video. I'll, I'll post it at the, the top right here. Set up those connections. And then all you would do is in the connections menu, you'd, you'd click that second connection. Like for example, I'll, I'll click kinetic end of day free. Let's, you know, let's pretend that it's interactive brokers. Now you see you have two connections, but the key is you connect to CQG first and then interactive brokers after. And then when you go to set up your trading systems, you can set them to trade on the interactive brokers account, but it'll be using the CQG data feed. Um, so you just edit any strategy you have running in IndiaTrader. Go down to here, select your interactive brokers account. If it's a live account, it'll say you and then a bunch of numbers. Uh, if it's a SIM account, it'll say DU and then a bunch of numbers. And that way, the actual trades will happen on your interactive brokers account, but it'll be powered through your CQG data feed and getting, um, getting data through that. So that's one common way of being able to connect to multiple connections at the same time with Ninja, it does allow it. Um, with that being said, on newer versions of Ninja, you do have to pay extra for the multi-broker license. I believe it's $99 a month. And that uh, allows you to connect to multiple brokers and gets you lowered commissions as well. If you do not pay for that, you will not see an interactive brokers option to connect, um, which is totally okay. Maybe you just wanna trade through Ninja Trader, which is, is cheaper anyways, but um, there's just a caveat there. If you do want to trade on interactive brokers, you will have to buy that that multi broker license uh, through Ninja. So yeah, that's the video. That's how you connect multiple connections to Ninja Trader. That's how you connect CQG to Ninja Trader. And um, yeah, maybe that you know maybe that'll help you guys. So let me know in the comments below if you found value in this. More of a simple technical tutorial, if you will. But that's the video. Have a good one, guys. Bye bye.